three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so now you're going to cut off, leave about a seven inch tail or so to fasten off and then you take your rose here and then you roll it up and this is a rose so you're going to roll, roll it as what a rose would look like here's your little rose then you're going to take your booty this is your small one so your small one can go off to the side here so we'll take a tape of take the yarn tapestry noodle, needle okay if you want you can kind of connect this rose before you connect it onto the the, the booty because then it will unravel while you're trying to sew it on so now you have your little rows, <clears throat> and then in the front here, you can sew it on. Just sew on your little rows, just back and forth, weave it in and out. So here's your rose and then you can you can do that a few more times if you like and then you can in the inside weave it in and out so it stays secure then you take this part so you want you don't want it to show And you can weave this in the inside so it doesn't show. And if you want to come in and secure that a little bit more, you can. And so that's your first little rose. And then you can come inside and sew it in. <clears throat> Do that a few times or a couple times. And that's your first rose. And you cut this yarn. And then you can make another one um, that's larger. And when you make a larger one, <clears throat> you can use an H hook and leave about a 12 inch tail again so you could weave it in and out and you'll make two of these one for each booty and you'll start out with a chain 11 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven single crochet in the second chain from the hook one and then two and then single crochet in each stitch across and that will give you ten so if you go across you have ten single crochet
then you turn your work and you'll chain one and then work three single crochet in each in each um, single crochet so two three one 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 this will give you 30 across one two three and then you can pass them off and then you'll start by folding it rolling out the flower so start here and just roll it up like a rose and here is your big one You can kind of sew this together to secure it before you sew it onto your on your booty. Okay, so now you have this large rose, and then you can go ahead and Put it up in the front here next to the small one. If you don't want to do roses on your booty, that's fine. Or if you just want to do two small ones, that's fine too. So you're just going to go and secure this rose onto your booty. Okay, now you can check to see if it's secure. And then go on the inside and weave in your tail. And then take this tail and weave it in. Okay. 
You can weave this in a few times. And then tie it on. Cut it off here. Now this is the booty with two roses. And if you want, you could do a little pretty tie in the front. Some kind of ribbon if you want. You could do the roses or not the roses. That's up to you. Now this is the booty. Um, directions are down below. My site is called crochetjewel.com. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.